Yo, 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 welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to install an Insteon keypad link dimmer and an Insteon dimmer switch. If you've been following along my previous videos, you'd see that I showed you how to program an Insteon switch to your Insteon hub. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to install one. It's a pretty simple process. You're gonna need a few tools to do it and a little bit of knowledge. Let's start with the tools you're going to need for today's installation. First, you're going to need a Robinson screwdriver, a slot screwdriver, a pair of linesman's pliers, an electrical tester, and the included marats. Now, let's go over to your old light switch and get started. Before you start anything, make sure that you turn off your breaker. The first step is to remove your switch plate. Now in the device box with the Insteon switch, you'll notice that it asks you to identify the neutral, line, and load wires. So I'm going to show you how to do that with an electrical tester right now. Now you want to remove the old switch that you're replacing, so pull that out of the box, out of the device box. Now that we have the two black wires exposed, we need to identify which one of these is carrying power and which one of these is sending the power to the light switch. So we're going to do that with a test meter, but we also need to turn on the power again to do so. So you want to be very safe with this step. All right, we've restored power to our device box. Now we're going to test which wire is line and which wire is load. In order to do this, you're going to take your electrical tester and place one end in the bunch of white neutral wires that you have inside your box and take the other end and place it on the brass screws of the light switch to determine which one is line and which one is load which one's carrying power to the switch and which one's sending power out of the switch. So you can see here we have our electrical tester. We're just going to take the other end and test out our wires. If you are doing this on a light switch like I would highly recommend, make sure your light switch is in the off position. Take your electrical tester and place it on the first screw. The bottom one is usually going to be your hot wire, the power wire. Now we're going to test the top screw. We can see there's no power there. Make sure, we're going to turn on the light switch, test the top screw now, you can see there's power. So now we've identified which wire is our line and load using a simple electrical tester. Once you have your three wires identified, your line, neutral, and load, you want to take the included marettes and attach your wires. In this case, on one of my connections, I am using a larger moret because I do have a larger bundle of wires. Make sure that you do use your morets accordingly. So very simply now, you're gonna take your black wire, which is your line, and connect it to your line wire. Your load wire, which is red, connect it to the load. And your neutral wire, connect that to your white bundle of wires. Once your connections are made, always make sure to give a good tug on them. Now the last wire that we want to connect is our ground wire. You want to make sure that this is connected to a metal part of your device box. Most device boxes will have ground terminals on the back of the box, or you will have a bundle of ground wires already. So there you have it. We've installed an Insteon dimmer switch and an Insteon keypad switch. Both follow the identical process. You have three wires to connect. Very simple. Most DIY people can do this themselves. If you want to know how to program your switch, make sure you check out my other video linked above. Okay, so that was a pretty simple process that most of you do-it-yourselfers out there can handle. Make sure safety is priority. Shut off the circuit and test it before you start to work on it. I'm going to be filming some more videos on how to connect Insteon to Alexa and Google Home. So make sure you smash that subscribe button below and ring the little bell to be notified when I upload those. And if you like the video today, make sure you hit that little like button below. That actually does make a difference. Leave a comment. I'd love to get to know you guys. 
And until next time, take it easy out there. Hey everybody, thanks for watching today. Make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I hope your day was full of awesomeness.